Hello. We have nine diamonds. And then we're going to go outside onto the balcony. Yeah, this is one of those worlds where you just have full access to every... No, you don't. Never mind. Due to the open floor plan, I was thinking that it was one of those ones where you can just freely access each puzzle in whatever order you feel like. That does not appear to be the case. Oh god, is this all H4? That's 14. What is this one? 14. Oh, uh, because there's a portal in the middle of it, so they're two completely separate chambers. Which I guess mostly negatively impacts your memory, like it's a memory test. Because you can't look through a window to see the other room, you have to run all the way around. Uh, that seems to be what we're doing up here too, actually. Oh boy. Yep, two out of nine. Okay. It's time for World H to get serious. <laughs> okay. So we have nine diamonds. First chamber, two linear, and that's it. Blue going into blue, yellow goes in, shows it goes into the room. We want purple for here and yellow for here. So right off the bat, you're like, what, well, I want the yellow to go here, right? So, like, isn't that a problem? What about, like, an angle like this? Is that good for yellow? I don't know. We have to look at the other room. This takes care of the diamond in this room. We need to set a, send a purple through here, though. In the direction the arrow's facing, I suppose. Looking at this, I'm guessing it looks like the direction the the, or, the yellow was previously going in was going to go directly into the purple, which is a problem. So it's good that I changed it. But if we're going to go here, we probably want to zigzag it. So there's a decent chance that I want to actually attack from behind if I have the space, which I think I do. There we go. Because that diagonal didn't look particularly helpful. It was diagonal, but it wasn't on the axis that would go there very well, I think. I don't know. I could be full of shit. We'll see as we go. Alright, so yellow and yellow. I believe... Yeah. Purple has to go with the direction of the arrow. So it's going to output through the tip, which means it needs to come in through the back. So I need to create purple and then redirect it through here. And that'll solve the other room. We have yellow, which is red and green, and we have blue. So we have all three colors to be used in one way or another. Um, we're definitely splitting green. I'm not sure if there's a version of splitting green that's going to work out very well for me because of the angle that this thing splits at. But even then you might need a redirect or maybe you split it sooner in the process. Hard to be sure. Hmm. So we've reintroduced this bastard, which means I'm immediately going to have way more trouble with this puzzle. Uh, okay. It's just such a can of worms of possibilities. So red has to go here and there. 
And we do technically have two beam splitters because you function the same way, in a way more customizable, messy way. And you also fit more cleanly into the idea of splitting red. Hmm. Could you make a bit more sense? Perhaps? The spacing doesn't quite work out for this. Also, you're in the wrong spot. I got distracted because you're purple. And my goal was to finish the purple in the other room. But you get the purple by going through the back of this one. That's just another purple in addition to the purple. There's so much purple. And for purple, I need blue and red. But the blue's necessary in here, right? So I can split off the blue, but I can't take the blue. So either the splitter... Like, the blue goes directly into this portal and then leaves us for good. And I don't think I have the resources to bounce the blue back in. I feel like we're kind of busy here with making this happen. Which I can't, I can't hit this from that. So I can't shoot yellow into the portal to make it hit this. So I'm pretty sure I have to manually redirect the yellow, which then means I need to manually redirect back to the portal because it needs, we need yellow in there. So based on that, I think I need to keep blue going in its current path. So if I'm going to use blue, then I need you or you to help me out with that. And I'm thinking you. Now the issue is that these guys are parallel. It could be nicer if I can get the blue and everything to be in the same device. But here the problem is if I fire the red off like that to solve that, then there's no red for these guys. Interestingly, you could shoot a red through all of these, all of these spots. Red, red, red. But you need green and you need purple. The only part where blue is needed in the entire area is the purple. Am I approaching a good enough? No. The issue with this is that I don't have a solo green. So while I've lit all these guys up, there's no green standing on its own, so I can't actually light these guys up. But I probably got the purple, right? Yep. One more goal complete. I was thinking like, what if I could shoot this into the different direction? I don't think this is what I'm going for, though. But maybe. No. I want to make it go the other way, because then it would be shooting to the same spot as the blue. And then blue and yellow would both be intersecting at this square, without me having to use two of these guys to try to make them all point. Because that's a mess. But I can't make that angle work. Because for that, I would need to be 
way the fuck over here. <laughs> and that's not really a direction that works. And we can't hit it from this side. Or that side. Because I already start off on this side, so I have to shoot left to hit there. And then right to get back to the portal. So I can't zigzag to go this way. That would involve the exact opposite shape. So no, I was probably right. I was probably right with this. Hard to be sure though. try you again because that's the, that's always it there's always the correct place to put you and I need to figure what that out figure out what that is I can't shoot directly to these three guys as tempting it is as it is because I need green teal does not exist. But since purple and yellow do, I might need all the three colors uncombined. And they may, may need to combine at destinations. An idea, potentially. I've used my splitter on the blue, though. We still have the problem of red needing to go there and there, while green needs to go to both those places and there. So red has to go through all three of those, which is probably via a direct beam like that. But red also has to go there, and green has to go there, there, and there. And I only have one of you guys, and those bo and both those problems feel like they're specifically solvable by this cube. I've already used the splitter on the blue beam, which is also decently probably correct, because yeah, the blue beam has to go into this to solve the, por the other room. But we need to keep the blue for our own uses. One would think that it's used here. But then because blue's coming out this angle and, ye and yellow's coming out that angle, I have to combine them into the shape, so that's a pain. I would like to at least remove one of the components there if I can. But also the blue has to go into there somehow. Which kind of works there. Except now that I've redirected this this way, now it's harder to redirect red where I want it to go. And we still have the problem that red has to go here, but also somehow through all of those. And now the angle doesn't work for redirecting it through there. Also, let's remember that on top of having red go through all three of these in order to make the color purple happen, and all these other combinations of red, I still need red back here, because red and blue have to combine back here. Ah! I don't like the puzzles that you're in. <laughs> I like it when I know what beams I'm working with, and have just to figure out how to redirect them. But you, son of a bitch, just... Add so many versions of the possible puzzle to consider. Ah. I find the puzzles with that block exhausting in this game. Okay. Because, yeah, purple has to go through there. Ah. But also, if I shoot red into this. Eh. If red comes out of that side, which is what happens if it shoots through all three of those red blocks in either room, it'll come out here, combine with that, 
It'll still just be yellow, I believe. I think if red hits this, it'll stop activating because it's like yellow and red, even though red's part of yellow. I can't do this. I'm dead. But I think if it hits the block, it'll just be like, yeah, that's yellow. And then by then, that's fine. I think. I could just test it. So red is shooting through all of these. Yeah. Yep. Whereas if this, whereas if the red was hitting here, we've shown, we've seen before that that would deactivate this. But this works fine, so I don't have to worry about this being a pollution problem. But I do have to worry about whether or not it's actually part of the solution at all, because, well, these being in a line feels like it, that would be what you do, and I'm not sure. What if I need to use you back here? <clears throat> right at the beginning. That's not great. Probably not it. Yeah. Unless I want to go this way. That'd also be pretty hard to reconcile, though. Yeah, we want to shoot blue into here. But then I also have these other two beam directions that have to be reconciled. And yeah, this one's going to be going into the back of here. That's pretty unavoidable. So I can't have to go this way because this blocks it and that goes that nowhere. But also if I redirect this, it just goes back into these guys so it can't escape. And if I go this way, then I need to shoot. Now it's become a white beam. Something's bugging out now. There we go. So if I want to shoot the yellow beam into here, I have to either shoot it directly back into it from here, which just gives me no use of the center beam, or I have to shoot it from here, which also is a back and forth paradox loop thing. So f f this time around, I don't think putting you on the main beam is the solution, which further exemplifies why I think this guy is the solution. Might be able to recombine some of the previous attempts. I don't think I can have that many blue beams. So my previous idea of trying to send it in from that angle through here, through there. We've tried that. But if I tried it with just you right here. I think I've tried a version of this, but not exactly this. But still maybe just green in your case? Hmm. It's backwards. Of course it is. Seven out of nine. That's the closest we've come so far. Oh shit. Oh shit. Because that's, that's the way it works. I was trying to think of like how would I line up the red, and I tried this side, and some other things, but much like how this bounces through the back and bounces that way, the red bounces that way on this side. And then it all falls into place. Ah. I am really bad at the program cube. Hello. You are out of bounds, sir. No big deal, just 14. Ah. Oh god, the mirrors are back. Can there at least not be a program cube? Please? If there's two of them! Fuck. There's gonna be another one in this room, isn't there? Fuck, there's three of them! Ah! There's three of them! I'm gonna lose my mind! No! Stop! Okay, this- this room has a... Has a white beam. So 
So we have so much to play with here. So we have a white beam in here that can be split into all three colors. We have a yellow and we have a purple, so that's an issue. But these two need the white beam to be white. Do I need a white beam in the other room? This room's just fucking dense. Ah. We have five movable cubes, two unmovable cubes, and seven destinations, receptacles, and then two mirror paths, which also have two more receptacles on them. Ah. Okay, so here they want me to create an infinite loop of you of. Well, you can't because this will split it off. But they want you to loop the white. So go that way and it'll hit that white. Then go on the roof and hit that white. Then come back and hit this white. Then go through both of these and split off. Which means I need to hit... I need to go from right to left on the, the arrow. With a white beam. I said right to left, right? It says I did three of them just now, so I probably did it. Yep. So now it goes through here. It's all that. Then splits. So just like that, I have two white beams in this room to use. Which might be where these guys come in handy. If only it was that simple, right? Just, oh yeah, just... Put them in the most obvious spot, and then that'll solve the puzzle. Yeah. So you need a green. And the green needs to loop. Purple is solved across the two of them. Probably somewhat unnecessarily in that in that case. We're at four. We're at five out of fourteen. Ha ha ha! We're doing it. Uh, you need a green too. Whoops. Connected that to the wrong. I connected that to the beam from the wrong block. All right. So now it's the infinite loop of green. But we also want it there. Might make one think that perhaps we're supposed to go back here. Then you can create the infinite loop of green with still the one block. But now we have all these blocks bouncing everywhere. So maybe in this case you just do the purple directly. Eight out of fourteen. So both things up top are solved. We need purple and red. And that's it in this room. Purple's not great for me right now. <laughs> uh, neither is red, really. I think that perf that particular efficiency spike isn't necessarily doing much for me. Do we have everything but red now? That and anything that I need to send back for the other room's purposes. Of course. No, nope, purple's here. The 
two purples don't line up. Getting complicated again. So that can solve all three of them, because the cross po the cross talk hasn't really been very helpful. Now I think we have everything in this room solved, minus the part about how the two rooms interact. We have one extra cube right here that's not doing anything right now. I think everything else is currently doing something. Okay. So what does the other room need? things going on in here. Okay, so these both need red. They both need red. This one needs blue, that one needs green. A white beam redirected into this could just solve it. But we'd also need two white here. And this room is not really equipped to handle this kind of problem. That solves the white in a way that's almost certainly not helpful to me, <laughs> but it's something. This could bounce back into there if I had the resources, which I don't. And that could be the red. That would all require stuff I don't have. I could shoot stuff out of this in different directions, but it won't reach any of my destinations. You're not diagonal. You're not diagonal, you're not diagonal. So only one of these cubes can be reached from the portal directly without redirection along the way. So things are going great. God, it's noise in this room. It's just such noise. Like, what do I even do about this room? It's chaos. Chaos, I tell you. Hello, new purple beam that goes in a weird direction that's not very helpful. How do you do? Ah. Purple doesn't exist without the white beam. At the same time, we can't really change how the white beam is getting in. Phew. Hmm. 
Let's not complicate the entry points. Let's just let's see what else I can shoot back because purple's not working great. What other loose ends do I have in here? Tangled mess of wires. And only I have the. Okay, you're literally not doing anything. You're literally not doing anything. I focused on the wrong beam. That's so that, there's my extra cube. It sends white in here. Purple's going purple, green's going green. And hitting three greens, hooray. So how about that white beam? That direction translates to going towards my goal. God damn it. All right, well that would have solved that. So my goal would be something like this. What can I do? My remaining goals are to get you and you. Okay, so I have to be in your path. It's not going to work like that. But it can work. Hey, it's solved. I... <laughs> I have to remember to look down every now and then because you need confirmation. We're at 14 out of 14. Ah. Okay. The solutions always look so simple when they're solved. <laughs> Once it's done, you're like, of course, that was easy. But it was like a nightmare to get there. Oh my god, this room. What a thing to look at. like playing No Limits all Symmetra. <laughs> I don't need stairs, I jump clean over them. Ha! Ha! One more world down. Alright, we're getting there. Ooh, I see wall stuff. 